it's Thursday, June 21st. My name is Victoria Ballant and you are watching Axios Broadcast. Let's start with Axios' technical outlook for the euro dollar. After price declined below daily pivot, it was suggesting next objective at support S1. If current development is a consolidation, price won't fall below this level and we can expect rebound and slight rise above daily pivot, probably limited by R1 resistance. On the other hand, sustained fall below support will be indicating downward move and next target will be at S2 support. Based on the conclusions for each indicator and chart analysis, we are expecting a bearish trend today. After that, according to our outlook for the dollar yen, we are expecting price will after forming top fall below daily pivot and correction may be limited by support S1, and then price will probably be re able to retest daily pivot and focus on R1 resistance. But on the downside, fall below support will target at next objective at S2 support. The vast majority of indicators expect a bearish trend today. Next up, the sterling dollar's outlook. After retesting daily pivot, price is falling towards S1 support, and price will probably continue in decline focusing on S2 support, where we can expect bottom will be formed. But rebound from first support will be suggesting sideways move, which will be limited by R1 resistance from above. Based on Axios chosen indicators and chart analysis, we can assume a bearish trend. Finally, our outlook for the dollar franc. Price will reach soon resistance R1, and sustained rise above this level will confirm rise towards R2 resistance. But rebound from first resistance will retest daily pivot, and then target may be at support S1 after retesting previous low. The vast majority of our indicators and chart analysis in the dollar franc show a bullish trend. At 8.30 a.m., GMT market is going to publish figures about German flash manufacturing PMI. It is expected slight rise in index from 45.2 to 45.3 points. Readings above 50 points indicates industry expansion and below it suggesting contraction. Moreover, it will have a high impact on the euro. Next, at 9.30 a.m., GMT, the Office for National Statistics, will release monthly statistics about UK retail sales. In the previous report, sales declined by 2.3 percent, while now it is expected to rise by 1.1 percent with a high impact on the sterling. Weekly regular figures about U.S. unemployment claims are going to be reported at 1.30 p.m. GMT. Analysts are expecting a rise of 381,000 in jobless claims compared to previous 386,000. Also, it will have a high impact on the dollar. The National Association of Realtors will publish data about U.S. existing home sales at 3 p.m. GMT. Analysts are expecting slight deterioration from 4.62 million to 4.58 million in sales. In addition, a high impact on the dollar can be awaited. Last news for today concerns Philly Fed Manufacturing Index, which will be reported at 3 p.m. GMT. It is expected rise of 0.7 points, which indicates improving conditions. While in the previous survey, index fell 5.8%, indicating worsening conditions of U.S. economy. Analysts are expecting a high impact on the dollar. And before we finish, Axiary brings you a short overview of the best traders on Axiary, giving the opportunity for other traders and investors to join their trading strategies. MHFX01 and Glimpsey haven't changed from yesterday, and strategies remained at 1385.5 and 802.2 pips. Only Ricky Tiki Tavi FX was able to rise by 105.9 pips. FX multiplier and MT declined by 0.28% in the monthly gain, while India Rose remained at 33.63% monthly gain. Low risk invest increased slightly by 0.08%. First three strategies and trade leaders haven't recorded rise nor decline. And on this date in 1997, US singer Rebecca Black, the performer of one of the greatest hits of this year, Friday, was born. All of us here wish you a successful and productive day, so until next time, thanks for watching X-Series Broadcast, goodbye.